Hi folks, I thought I'd show you the uh, previous combustion chamber to show you what was wrong with it. Well, if you look at the the shape there and then the size of this, this is just open inside. I mean, that's roughly about uh, 30 millimetres by 100 millimetres, 100 millimetres by 30. And uh, yeah, this one's significantly smaller and um, when this piece uh, is on top of that the the depth here is only 10 millimeters so the depth inside that is like 30 it was, it was far too big and uh, let too much far too much air and fuel uh, f float around inside and um, the spark plug that was in there was using an adapter and by the time I'd got this screwed into there and that screwed into there that was shielding the spark and it wasn't sitting very well in there with the gas flow so I thought I'd show you uh, one of my Tesla valves that I've had made and these are actually it's been aluminium welded um, Again, this is open source. Uh, I can provide the files. They're soon going to be added to my Dropbox. Um, you can also make these with bolts instead, but I just didn't want them to leak. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, this being put together. snug fit so yeah plug in there put a couple of bolts in now the beauty about these Tesla valves is I've got these, I've got these quick couple hydraulic fittings, and um, these are off the shelf. Uh, they're actually rated at 300 bar, so uh, I don't think I don't think we'll be getting anywhere near those sorts of pressures. I've also got the the quick coupler. Um, the matching quick coupler here and uh, they work ideal you need for one of these you need a these are quarter inch BSP male to male adapter try my best here because I'm, I'm not actually I'm not left handed It'd be easier if I just put that in there or in here. I could nip them up with the spanner, but just for just for construction sake there you go so that is now connected to that and that's also it also allows it to also allows it to move so, and if that can maintain 300 bar um, with that sort of movement, then uh, it's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough for me. Obviously, you need um, some dirty washers, um, which are these. Need some dirty washers, and um, 
obviously nip these up. But that's your that's your needle valve on here, which has got um, it's got, it's got numbers on it, and uh, there's a lot of adjustment on that. And then you've got a little grub screw as well to lock it off. And I've just got an air fitting on there that's for um, like a quarter inch BSP airline fitting just for you, for hooking up to a compressor if you wanted to use compressed air. Now you don't have to use compressed air. Don't forget, atmospheric pressure is compressed. It is an energy source. It's compressed by the weight of the 10 plus miles of air sitting on top of it and um, so yeah so in uh, one of Tesla's articles uh, the gasoline the gasoline uh, turbine um, this has actually got a cone like coming out like a, like a trumpet and um, that would create that would create a converging uh, divergent effect so kind of like it would create a Dillaval nozzle through the air inlet. So if you are gonna just use ambient air, I would say that would be your best best way to go. Um, I'm gonna try both. So that at the minute's going into, into the airport and uh, I just have to add exactly the same uh, to the LPG. Um, I've got a vacuum gauge. I mean, it's actually filled with glycerin. Um, yeah, so got an accurate vacuum gauge, and uh, I'm going to try a vacuum gauge. I've also got a thousand psi uh, gauge to try in uh, that position. So, and then there are all sorts of um all sorts of nozzles that could be tried for an outlet um, at the minute i've got a four mil hole in there i could try going five six seven eight nine i can go up to ten i can go up to ten mil on any of these holes but i thought for now we'll try four mil on this one and uh, see what happens but we could have uh, a nozzle that's tapering or a nozzle that gets wider so uh, my money's on the. Um, uh, it's already it's already tapering in here, which is a, a converging nozzle. So if the nozzle gets wide now, that's a Dillaval nozzle. So uh, that's the type of nozzle that causes flow to go supersonic. So it'll be interesting um, being able to play with the variables on this and uh, see where we go. So. I did a bit of um, spark, uh, spark gap, and spark um, frequency um, testing today, and uh, so far I managed to get 130 hertz just from uh, the plasma ignition system I've got. Uh, but I need a I need a way of getting faster uh, pulses. And um, maybe someone can help me out with that. Uh, I'm using a 12 volt 30 amp relay, and um, I'm using a, a function generator to generate a uh, pulsed square wave. And um, I'm operating a relay to operate an ignition module, um, but it's a mechanical relay. I've not got a snubber. Maybe someone knows uh, a snubber I could use for a 12 volt 30 amp relay. Or they could recommend me a transistor to to try, because um, I think the maximum my module will do is um, six hundred and sixty hertz. So yeah, I'm kind of looking for uh, something that can do that. If anyone can help, that would be much appreciated. Looking forward to um, filling this with some LPG and uh, seeing what sort of flames we get. Cheers, thanks for watching.